Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle Card readings for October 2024. These readings are for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start with a money reading, then we will have a love reading. There is a Law of Attraction message in the description box if you're interested. You have the card of give. This is money, okay? Give. Interesting. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. So even if you're saying, look, I'm flat broke right now. I just don't have it to give. You may have things that you're not using or things that perhaps even services, your time, ways that you can help somebody else. Or if you say, no, I am doing great, then even more to those who have, more will be given. You have fresh start. You're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you've been given. And I know sometimes it feels like a gift described it disguised as a bomb, right? You say that was not a gift that blew everything up. But I do feel like you have a new start, a new beginning, and we'll see what the tarot can tell you. You have the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Outcome, and the Ace of Wands in the Advice. Those are saucy together, that Ace of Wands and Three of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Three of Cups. The Four of Pentacles here begins it all. For some of you, you may have had to tighten down your wallet a little bit or looked at some things. Even if you're saying you have enough money, it's also, though, reviewing things if you're spending a lot of money that is unnecessary. It's This is not a card of lack as much as it's a card of decision, of deciding I'm hanging. He's hanging on to these pentacles. He's not just blowing them. Now, I also feel like, too, for some of you, you may have had a, a period of time where you've been saving money, sort of that extra slush fund in case something occurs where you can have money available. And I feel like with this, it just lends itself to a sense of security where you don't have to be worried about things happening. You know that you have it available. Now, with this page of Pentacles, news comes in. Good news about money is on the way. So I also feel like, too, somebody here is going to find little bits of money. If you live in a place where the climate changes in, in fall and winter, you may find you find, you know, you pull out a jacket or some pair of pants, and you go, oh, there's $20 in there. And those sort of little increments of money... But this is also an opportunity. This is hope and optimism. It is the gift. It's like, this is what I wanted. The way that he stares at that pinnacle, you have it here too. Like, this is the perfect space for me. This is the perfect job for me. It's this, okay? You're going to have cause to celebrate in terms of money. I also feel like too, some of you may get gifts around the way, along the way, if you get tips of any sort, or maybe you don't and you say, I, I work in an office, I take phone calls, or I don't typically receive tips, I feel like you'll have somebody who gives you a thank you gift, okay? And it might be unexpected, but enjoy every second of it. With the Three of Cups, you have celebration, you have camaraderie. So if you're moving or getting a new job, you're going to find that you will not be looking back. I feel like you'll hit the ground running, and with this, it's cause to celebrate. Now, somebody here may be given a promotion that's going to require additional training or especially with the Page of Pentacles, if you recently finished a certification, here's where you say it's worth the extra money, where you take a course or you do something that's not a huge amount of money to invest, but it pays back dividends. So with the Ace of Wands, things are about to get turned up. We love this one, especially with with money, because it's a card of expansion. It's a new passion. And so in terms of this, you're going to be embarking on a journey and really be confident. That's what they're saying. Be confident in your abilities. It's an action energy like waving a magic wand. So when this Ace of Wands comes into a reading, know that life is about to pick up. Here's where you get those wins. It's a yes card. So let's see now what else we need to know before we move on to love.
I knew it was going to be this. I don't know why. You have the card of no. So I do feel like if you're thinking about making a purchase, and I almost said it before I pulled it, I should have, um, that there may be something about delaying that. If you've been saving up money and you have a change coming in, whether it's a move or a job, I feel like if you're thinking about making a big purchase, they're trying to tell you now may not be the right time. But let's see here. We're going to go into our next reading now and uh, ask the cards about love. It's so funny because I get accused from time to time of taking cards out, which is just preposterous. You know what? If I was going to take out cards, that might have been one of them, right? But anyway, it's just funny to me. Huh? There's proof, right? Well, you've got love coming in. Unconditional love, self-love, wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness. So you may have somebody coming in that's different from the others. They seem to want to do for you. You have here the card of the ship. Cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. So I do feel like the, the ship is coming in in terms of love, that you're bringing in somebody who will treat you in an unconditional way. If you found that the person that you were with last was rather moody and irritable and unpredictable, I feel like you're bringing in someone who's much more consistent, much, much more like your ship is coming in is how I'm getting that. All right, let's see what the cards can tell you about love. The Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, whoo, and the King of Cups. Talk about love. I mean, need we say more? Well, so with this Page of Cups, it's a very romantic energy. Now, if you've been out playing the field a little bit, I feel like you are going to get a lot of attention. This can also be a chance encounter. It's Law of Attraction energy. It's a very sweet romantic energy, though. So even if you've been not quite settled down here, and you've got more than one, you be better be careful on that phone of yours that you don't get into the wrong thread with the wrong person. I feel like they're urging you to make a decision because I feel like with this, it might get a little confusing, okay, with that Seven of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups, though, I do feel like you have one for sure that comes in and you've got a maturing energy. Pages are developing. They don't have to be immature. I'll tell you what, this king may have started as a page, okay, so you have a, an energy that's going to evolve and grow with you. There's something with the Seven of Cups, though, and the current energy. If you do have, again, more than one person who's interested in you, I feel like it's lending your, to some confusion and some uncertainty. we got to be careful with that because we don't want to stay here, especially if you're toying with the idea of an ex. Because this can be not only the Daydreamer's Torment card, but it can also be being in love with the idea rather than perhaps that particular relationship or wanting to see the potential in a relationship and not what was really there. So I do feel like they're trying to show you, they're trying to guide you forward. I feel like you're going to love this watery energy that you're floating into here with the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, joy. This is a new cycle, okay? So if you've been in an uncertain time, when the Ten of Cups comes into a reading, it's telling you you've got the happy family card. You've got that rainbow after the storm. In terms of love, though, it's a relationship that will grow. It's a relationship, too, where people around you will be saying, where did you meet each other? How do I get one? Okay, it's a relationship where you will want to invest you both of you, this is mutual, and it's truly a, a partnership. The way you see these this couple with their arms around each other and their arms open wide, it's like they're you're saying to the universe, Come this way, bring them in this way. I'm ready for the landing. I'm ready for this person to arrive. And so I feel like you have a relationship that is romantic, it's built on real love. There's passion here for some of you. It may, if you're already with this person, it may be about moving in together too, okay? And if you've been looking and trying to figure it out, I feel like you're going to have an answer to that question. If you've been looking for housing or how do we figure this out, if it's a relationship that's been at a distance for some reason, 
But I feel like, too, with this King of Cups here, this is a very emotionally intelligent energy. This is somebody that you can talk to about anything. This will be somebody that you feel comfortable with immediately. And it's not that there's no boundaries. It's that you get each other, that there's no walls up. There's no judgment. This is unconditional. It truly is one of the most, in terms of love, one of the most unconditionally loving cards in the entire deck. Here is your person. Now, it could be another water sign, so it could be a Cancer or Scorpio or another Pisces. But with this King of Cups, it is love. You've got love here all the way around, and I feel like it'll almost be hard to focus on other things. That, And you know what, though? It seems like when you're in love, problems shrink anyway, don't they? It's like they just seem less important. Yes, this is a wise move. So those of you that are wondering, they give you a yes. You had a nope and a yes. I feel like these cards are so funny, but they're trying to tell you in terms of love, that's solid. Okay, good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.